All right, sorry, Capricorn. So I got a fucking phone call. I hate when people call me when I'm doing it. I'm not redoing the reading or whatever. I'm not. So anyways, the first card in the... So how... This is for Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, take what resonates to you, but doesn't. This is your current love message. So this could be past, present, or future. Be sure to flip the script. Play, you know, uh, if you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, this could be playing out from your point of view, okay? So just choose what side of the story you're on, right? So how I'm doing it is... Um, I'm doing it by songs, love songs. This is a love message. So whatever. So I'm doing things on shuffle. So the song that came on for you guys is Keisha Cole featuring Elijah Blake and it's called Wonderland. So the vibe I'm getting for you guys is with the doubt, growth, and honesty, I'm getting with engagement, attraction, and release your ex. I'm getting some of you guys are with somebody and it feels good. Again, I'm going to throw out different things because this is going to be different situations for different people. Some of you guys are with somebody where it feels good, but somebody could be doubting this. Somebody here could be doubting like, okay, do I make this official? Do I propose? Do we take it to the next level? How do I progress? Like somebody is having, it's like somebody, it's like somebody's having doubts. Even though this feels good, it's like somebody may feel like somebody may not know if this is like an illusion, if, if, if they just living in a fantasy or if, it, or if it's real, if it's in reality, right? I do sense that somebody here has a blocked heart chakra, okay? And now with this, because we have engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody here may be afraid of commitment. That could be where the doubt is. Somebody may be having cold feet. Somebody may be wanting to propose or they just be, could be dragging their feet. You know, somebody, again, with the doubt card, it says, I release the need to know all the answers. So I, there's somebody here that could be like, uh, it's just going to work out in the future. It's just coming, you know, it's just going to turn out the way it did with how it, did, are things going to happen the way it did with so-and-so? Am I going to be happy? Can this person make me happy? Can I make them happy? Do I have enough? Do they have enough? It's like there's too much, it's, 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 it's like analysis paralysis and I, I feel like somebody here is being overly critical of themselves and the other person here. You know, so I feel like the more something ascends, the more a, a, a partnership or a connection progresses, somebody has more and more doubt. It's like somebody kind of is just like, eh, it's like the feelings are growing, right? Because we do have here growth and attraction, right? It says, I expand my, um, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And this says attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like somebody's feelings and attraction to someone or a relationship is growing. But again, there's this hesitation, there's this like, eh, and I feel like this is a love that's going to really expand somebody's, not only their heart space, but like their whole, their whole energy center, really, to be honest, somebody's going to become more, this is going to open up somebody's creative channels, their third eye, their crown, it's like somebody's consciousness is, is shifting because of this love. And I'm also getting for some of you guys who've been together with your person for a while, like a few years or more, you guys are re like you guys are reigniting that that attraction, that passion. If it died, you guys are finding ways to regrow that again, right? Maybe you guys weren't as intimate before for a while. You guys are re-sparking that passion with each other. So things are just things feel new again. You guys are just picking up that, you know, you're picking that up. Okay, so for, for those of you who are single, this could be an attraction for a co-worker or somebody that you run into, a friend even, that's becoming stronger and stronger and stronger, right? It may be bit by bit, but there's something, there's an attraction that's growing, okay? Also, some of you guys are becoming more attractive to people around you, right, for whatever reason. Now, we have honesty here. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Now, I feel like Capricorn... This could be, this is maybe you guys. I feel like some of you guys, right? And take it how it resonates. This could be your, this could be the other person you're dealing with. If you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, this could be playing out from your point of view, right? Somebody here is still stuck on an X. And I feel like with this honesty card, I feel like somebody needs to be, somebody's worried about, somebody needs to be honest with themselves about how they feel about their ex. There could be some resentment that needs to be released. There could, maybe if you're not stuck on the actual person, maybe you're stuck on how things happen between you and this person or the way things ended. But there's somebody here in this equation that's still stuck on their ex that has to release their ex. Somebody has to clear their ex out of their energy because that could be where all that doubt is coming from. Because we have growth in between doubt and honesty. So it's like somebody here needs to, yeah, somebody needs to release the past here, okay? Yeah, 
Yeah, stabbed in the back. Um, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Yeah, a doubt. Somebody here is a somebody here could be your somebody here could have somebody here could have been betrayed, cheated on, used, backstabbed in some capacity in the past relationship. So somebody here thinks that's gonna happen again with somebody else or in a new one. Or maybe you guys have gone, maybe if you're with the maybe you and your person have gone through a lot and maybe somebody somebody's afraid to take things to the next level because they're afraid that okay, what if they hurt me again or what if I hurt them again? Somebody, you know, there's fear here right maybe there was some type of deception here okay this is attraction and, and we have talking okay interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hovering yeah i'm telling you so some of you guys there is some type of some of you guys are talking to somebody more you're getting to know someone more okay there's some type of attraction that's growing again this could be but you could this could be with somebody that you've been married to for decades or years or been with for a long time there's still you guys just you know you guys are just doing you guys are conversing more you're going on more dates you're doing more you're, 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 you're you know you're just making an effort Okay, and that's all sometimes things take as an effort. But for and then for those of you, this could be your attraction. You could maybe you're starting to talk to this friend or this coworker more often. You're saying, Wow, this person has good conversation. I like talking to them. Hmm. And then you just notice that attraction is growing and growing, right? Honestly, let me check that. And then we have the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Okay, so again, Capricorns. Somebody here needs to release their ex. Or this is, yeah, somebody has to release an ex here. In order for this relationship to truly transform and to get it to where you really want it to be, to its full capacity, somebody's going to have to clear their energy. It's, the time has come to clear your energy. Somebody still has their ex in your energy, and whether you're whether you're sleeping with them still or not, whether you're talking to them or not, whatever it is, somebody has to clear their ex out of their energy, and somebody you know has to do that. Okay, so you know, and we have mirror, mirroring each other, self image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Yeah, for some of you guys, maybe both of you guys have been hurt before. Okay, and maybe this relationship progressing could be triggering for both of you guys. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. You guys are uh, you guys are triggering each other in a sense. This feels really good for you guys. Both of you guys need to let your guard down. For those of you who are in actual relationships and connections, for those of you who are single, again, there may, you know, that deception, that heartache, that pain, those are things that you're going to have to, those are blockages that you're going to have to find a way to remove and get out your way, okay? So let's get some surrender messages. Yes, surrender low self-esteem. For some of you guys, some type of deception has caused you has caused your self-esteem to fluctuate whether you're honest with yourself about this or you're not okay but we have surrender low self-esteem you deserve success love and abundance set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem yeah somebody's self-esteem is very low and that's where this doubt is coming from somebody here could have really got hurt really got betrayed backstabbed cheated on used okay uh, emotionally physically mentally you know the betrayal happens in all ways Betrayal happens in all ways. It's not just cheating. So maybe somebody, they were one way and then they took off the mask and you saw another side to them. And now you're afraid that it's going to happen with this uh, with this new person or it's going to happen again if you're with, if you're still with the same person, right? Mr. Serenity. Mr. Serenity. You know, maybe this year we got surrender year. I'm going to take this surrender year. Oh my God, I'm taking, yep. I'm taking both of these because... Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Com compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Yes, some of you guys need to open up your heart. Some of you guys are getting, and even if this is you guys, again, some of you guys, for some of you guys, this is a new person that you're getting to know. Things that, you know, you, so, you could be starting out as friends. This could be something that's, that's starting out innocent, but you're getting to know this person more and more and more right and some of you guys may be afraid of opening up and for others of you who are, who are already in a relationship with somebody or any, whether you whether it's new or you've been together for years decades whatever you guys are really getting to know each other all over again and you guys are going to have to have the uncomfortable talks the uncomfortable conversations and discussions in order to get to remove that blockage to get past it so you guys can fully grow together and when you guys do that that attraction that those is going to bring you guys closer together that raw honesty is going to bring you guys closer together. So again, this is something you guys need to talk more with your with your spouse, with your partners. 
for those of you getting to know somebody, be more honest, be more open. You know, intimacy isn't just about sex. Some of you guys are also learning that intimacy is not just about physical, the physicality. It's, it's spiritual, emotional, mental, intellectual, energetic. So, you know, that's, you know, that could be what's happening too. And we have um, surrender, re surrender to receiving love and support or support and love. But what's this? And we have surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys still need to, somebody here, some of you guys still need to heal from an ex. Right? This green is giving me heart chakra vibes. Some of you guys still need to heal from an ex. Whether you realize this or not, there's something energetically that's going on that is still like kind of blocking new love from coming in or that's kind of stagnant in a current relationship or it's keeping it at a plateau or it's not getting it to this maximum capacity. It's not allowing you to fully open up fully. Whether you think you are or you're not, a lot of you guys are still a bit closed off. I don't care if this, that betrayal or that pain or whatever that exit was decades or years ago, it's still energetic, it's still in, it's still in your energy and you gotta find a way to release it. Okay, whether you're with somebody or you want to be, okay, let you know, get that out your energy. And maybe you guys aren't still physically attracted to this ex or emotionally there, but this person, whatever they did to you, said to you, however things ended, is still in your energy. It's still, it's, it's, it's still, it's, it's interfering with, with new love from coming in or whatever new love is already here. Okay, we have surrendered to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. Some of you guys need to get out in nature. Some of you guys also need to get more rest. And um, so yeah, some of you guys still need to heal from this. Some of you guys need to um, set up boundaries with this ex. Stop talking to this ex. Stop sleeping with them. If you have kids with them, it should be strictly about the kids. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? Um, for those of you, if you have family who are still in contact with this ex, again, speak to them and let them know that there has to be boundaries that said, especially if you have a new person that you're with. Okay, so Capricorns, this was your love message. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'll link the song in the um, comment. I'll, I'll link it in the comment uh, comments or whatever. Uh, and I'll, the title is going to be the title of the song, okay? <laughs> so bye, Capricorn.